Well, offshore wind power is once again up for debate in the Maine legislature. Maine fishermen are adamantly opposed to it, but the governor and environmental groups say offshore wind is a key to renewable energy to fight climate change. Now it looks like they might have found some middle ground. New Center Maine's Don Kerrigan has more. The idea of getting power from the strong winds out at sea has a lot of support, except among the people who already work the ocean. Lobstermen and other fishermen have made it clear they do not want offshore wind power and consider it a threat to their way of life. That's why Representative Billy Bob Falkingham led the effort in the legislature to block all offshore wind development. But he says there just wasn't enough support, so now he and other lawmakers have reached a compromise. I still don't agree with offshore wind. I probably never will, and, and the industry doesn't. We have grave concerns about the impacts that they'll give, but the way it was looking uh, was really looking like these were going to go forward without us. The immediate concern for fishermen, the floating wind turbine proposed near Monhegan Island, would be allowed to go forward. That project would be located inside Maine state waters, within the three-mile limit, but it would be the only one. Representative Falkingham says the agreement bans any other turbines inside state waters. Also, he says no cables could be run to the shore from projects farther outside in federal waters unless they meet specific guidelines and approval from a special committee. And fishermen would be part of that process. This is very significant to get this in statute because the way we were, the road we were going on and the path we were going down was a path that left the lobster industry um, showing up to public hearings like any other person and hoping that uh, hoping they'd get listened to. But what we have now is in statute an actual seat at the table. The governor has proposed a larger wind development farther offshore in federal waters and has said wind power is coming to the Gulf of Maine regardless of what the state does. Representative Falkingham says if the agreement passes, there will continue to be opposition from fishermen, but they will be allowed some say in how those projects happen. That first turbine off Monhegan Island still needs several permits, so it is far from a done deal. But if the legislature votes in favor of the compromise next week, that one obstacle will be gone. On the Damariscotta River, Don Carrigan, New Center, Maine. The governor's energy office was involved in the discussions about that offshore wind power bill, but a spokesman for the office says they're now reviewing all of it to see if they agree with that new plan.